What's going on guys? Pygmy Rhino here with a brand new series that I'm starting today. It is called How to Feed the Beast. And yes, it is a how-to series on playing the Minecraft mod Feed the Beast, which is a smattering of mods including industrial craft, build craft, red power, you name it, rail craft, it's got it all. So in this series I'm going to teach you guys how to play Feed the Beast. It's going to be really fun and uh, you're going to learn a lot from this series. So, as this is the first video, it is called Getting Started. The first thing we're going to do is build a generator. Because things in Feed the Beast aren't just powered by redstone as they are in regular Minecraft, they're also powered by a thing called EU, which is electrical units. So, we're going to learn how to build a generator. I have all the mats in this chest right here. Well, first of all, I should mention. Ooh, excuse me. First of all, I should mention that you um you have the base things from Minecraft. You have your crafting table and your furnace. The base materials you're going to need for a generator are iron, tin, copper, rubber, redstone, and a furnace. You can find iron just as you would in regular Minecraft by digging in mines and uh, mining it up in ore form. You can find uh, tin and copper in the same exact way. With rubber, you're going to have to build a tree tap, which is like f as, as follows. Tree tap is you place that, you place wood like this. And there you go, there's a tree tap. You use that on a rubber tree. There's not any around here because it's flat. But uh, you'll notice the rubber tree is because it's a little bit darker and it has a glowing like yellow square on the side of it, which is a, uh, a node for mining rubber, or mining sticky resin. And then you throw the sticky resin in the furnace and it turns into rubber. So now that you have the rubber, find redstone just as you would in regular Minecraft, and you're ready to start making your generator. So first, you're going to need a battery, which I have up here. And the battery requires the copper, the redstone, and the rubber, and the tin. So first of all, you're going to take the copper, and you're going to put three on top like that to make a copper wire, un uninsulated copper cable. I call it copper wire because it's the same thing. With that copper wire, you're going to put a one rubber next to it, and there you have a copper cable. Get out of here. And then with the copper cable, you're going to want to put tin on either side like this, and redstone down the center. There's your rechargeable battery. So now that we have the battery, we're going to need the next part, which is the machine block. The machine block is relatively easy to make. Let me put everything back in the chest. Put the battery up here. Wood can go in the center for the tree tap. There's that. This is made, so I'll put that over there. Our next step is to make the machine block, which is like making a, uh, a furnace. Instead of cobblestone, though, you're going to use refined iron. And refined iron is made by smelting regular iron. So you're just going to let that go. Might take a bit, so I'll see you once I have eight. Alright, so I got eight refined iron right now in my uh, hotbar. We're going to use that refined iron and design it just like a regular furnace, so all around and not the middle. There's your machine block. So you're going to take the machine block, you're going to take that battery you just made, and you're going to take that uh, that furnace, another furnace that you, you want to make another furnace, so gather a lot of cobble for that. And then you want to put on the left side, furnace on the bottom, machine block in the center, and rechargeable battery up top. And there's the generator. So then you place the generator down and you um, power it by coal, so we're going to take the coal from the uh, furnace and power the generator with coal. So as you can see, the generator is going to fill up with power, and that is that green bar is EU. So you're going to want to um, everything that you're going to build from here on is going to be powered by EU, and generators are the most basic way to power machines. With the uh, you can make more copper cable like like for you did for the battery. And that's how you transport EU out of the generator into different machines. And I'm going to, to um, show you more about that really soon. Next thing we're going to build is called a bat box. It is the first tier of energy storage in Feed the Beast, namely uh, industrial craft. It's the first tier of EU storage. What you're going to need is those copper cables that we made last time, three batteries. So if you remember how to make the battery, it's copper cable on top, tin on either side, down the, on the second and third rows, and redstone down the middle. You're going to need three of those, and you're going to need five wood. So there's five wood we're going to use, the three batteries, and the copper cables. I believe it's just the one copper cable. And then we're going to do this. We're going to put the copper cable on top, 
batteries down the middle. That there, that there, and that there. And there's your bat box. So with the bat box, you're going to want to place it near the generator. Like so. This face with the circle right there is the output. And with the output facing away from the generator, you can use any other, in any other face without the hole as an input face. So we're going to do that. We're going to just place, remember how I said copper cable will transport EU from a generator? You do that right into and see how the generator started working. It's because it is burning the coal into EU and supplying the bat box, as you can see right there, with EU. Bat boxes can hold 40,000 EU, and that is the lowest that any uh, storage unit can hold. But it's really great to start out with because it's a really quick way to get EU within like 10 minutes of playing playing on a server or on single player for the first time. But that is basic power and that's how you get started with Feed the Beast. In the next video we're going to talk about three basic machines that are uh, pretty good tier 1 machines to start out with. And uh, thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoy the rest of the series as it comes out. And um, I look forward to your feedback and hearing your Feed the Beast stories, it's one of my favorite mods in Minecraft. So um, let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye